SoFi update here on the 25th. So in this video, I'm going to lay out a new way of looking at it that will probably make it a lot easier than my past videos. Uh, I still think it's going down here to fill this gap at 550 at some point. But uh, my timing in the past videos might be off, and it might not happen the way I said it was going to happen in the last video, where I said I was saying I was saying this basically. So I think it might take longer than that. Timing is the hardest part, obviously. Let's go ahead and get into what I'm looking at. So let's go ahead and draw a parallel line from the very top here. And you can see here, we're, we're forming a triangle here. So we have the big move up, <clears throat> and then we have this move down, up, down. We could potentially be in the middle of a D wave here. So let's go ahead and draw it out here. We have this is what I'd be looking for right here. And basically, this makes a lot of sense because you have lower high. So you have higher high, lower high. On here, you have um, higher low, lower low. You get another higher low here, and then you get another lower low down here. You hit the bottom of the parallel line here. This makes a lot of sense for a few different reasons. Um, I can draw... Parallel line from here, give you an idea when it hit. So on this one right here, we'd be looking for an ABC move up. In this scenario, this would end up being the C wave right here. We'd be looking for the D wave up here to the parallel line. And then one more move down here for the E wave. This makes a lot of sense because that would turn this back into a falling wedge at a bigger, um, on a bigger time frame. And that makes a lot more sense um, than the way I was doing it before. Because then we could just have the B wave right over here. And we could just go up afterwards. So the whole thing would look like B and then a C wave up here. Could be a third wave too. Third wave as well. Uh, we'd be looking for about 22 bucks. For the 1.61 fib minimum target would be uh 1550 so 1550 to 22 bucks after this finishes off this move down so anybody that's saying it's going to break out i don't see it yet and especially this structure is not breakout Again, if it's going to break out, it's going to be maybe up here 9, 10, 11 bucks, but then it's going to come back down. So it's going to look like this. So I would actually prefer this setup right here. And now let's get into the smaller time frames. So now in the smaller time frames, let's just say this is the C wave right here. And we're working on a D wave. Why would this make sense? Because let's go through these waves in the smaller time frame. So we have wave one, wave two, 1.61 fib is here at, that'd be the third wave right here. Pulling back for the fourth wave right here. And we're currently in a fifth wave of the A wave. So you probably see one more high and then that would be the overall A wave. I'll say A or 1, just in case it ends up being an impulse. So A or 1 right here, fifth wave. You have gaps below here at 665 and at 701. So on a B wave, we'd be or a second wave, we're looking for at least the 0.5 fib. So here we go. 0.5 fib is at 687. 665 is right at the 0.61 fib. We'd probably fill this gap at 665. Let's say we go to six se or 770, 665, and there you go. 
let's go ahead and do a parallel line up here and look at that right to the gap fill at 850 there you go and that would turn into being the D wave why does this make sense and why it actually is like working out perfectly this was an ABC move these are all ABC moves a B C a this is expanded flat a B C they're all different kinds of uh, ABC moves this would be ABC right to the parallel line fill the gap right into the to the uh, rate cuts and the rate cuts would send this down we'd probably see something like this and then 2025 we just rock it just take off in 2025 so this makes a lot of sense to me and it's a lot easier to explain as well than trying to figure out all these little waves um, so we'll see if it happens but I'm pretty sure about this I'm about to top out and we're gonna pull back and then we'll see, is it going to be a third wave or is it going to be a C wave? You can see here, the C wave makes the most sense um, up here to 850 and then sell off here to 550 to complete the overall B wave. And then in 2025, we can take off. So that's my general count. Um, this can either be a five wave move or an ABC move. But again, I don't think we're going to get above 797 on this move. I'm expecting a pullback to 665 within the next probably couple of weeks. So I think there'll probably be a pretty big rug pull, maybe even starting this week. And then we'll run into the rate cuts. So that's pretty much it in this video. Hopefully this made it a little bit easier to see what's going on. And... Uh, We'll see what happens. Gap fill 550, gap fill at 850, and then there's, I think there might be a gap fill at 11 too, but that doesn't really matter right now. The only gap fills that matter are these four right here. Pullback, this is the 850 gap fill and the 550 gap fill. That's it. Leave me a comment, like, subscribe for more updates, and I will catch you in the next video.